cream sauce along with garlic and spinach. I know that pasta has lots of carbs, but if you eat it at the right amount and if you combine it with right ingredients, it can become a healthy, nutritious dish. Let's start cooking. I'll start by cooking the pasta, so in meanwhile I can prepare the mushrooms and spinach. I will use 350 grams of pasta. I'm using these butterfly ones, but you can choose any kind you like. I'm pouring my hot water in my pot. I will add about 1 tablespoon of salt and pasta. So I will cook it for about 11 minutes and in the meanwhile I will prepare the sauce. First of all, let's cut the mushrooms. I'm using portobello mushrooms. Now I'm taking a large pan and I'm putting 2 tablespoons of olive oil. On top of the mushrooms, I will add some spices. I'm adding like a quarter teaspoon of black pepper and half teaspoon of paprika. Also, I add two cloves of garlic. After about five minutes, when mushrooms release their water, we will add spinach. I have some nice lower spinach here. The total is 250 grams, so I will use a half, so it makes 125. Now I will mix. After almost all water boils away, we will take mushrooms and spinach into a separate bowl. We will mix them all. I'm adding 4 tablespoons of olive oil and I'm adding 2 tablespoons of flour and we mix them very well. After it gets a brownish color, I'm adding 2 cups of milk. I'm using plant based milk. Stir it on low heat until it thickens up. And I will cook this for about 5 minutes. For a thicker sauce, you can cook more, or for a thinner sauce, you can cook less. Now I will add a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now I will turn off the heat. I will add in this my mushrooms and my spinach. Now I will add my secret ingredient which will take this dish to a next level. I'm adding cashews. I love cashew nuts and they add another dimension into this pasta. And it's very crucial that these cashews should be raw. And I will be using raw cashews of Proki. And I will add about half cup. creamy pasta with mushroom and spinach and cashews. I will taste it now before serving. It's perfect. I hope you like this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And if you try this recipe or if you have any other pasta recipes of your favorite, let me know in the comments. See you in the next video.